I think he should resign, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I just, uh, I think that by the time that this situation with uh, Russia unfolds, we need a full examination of not only what was done here, but now what is taking place in Europe as they attempt to influence the outcome of these elections. And I, I think in the case of uh, Sessions, he's the top law enforcement official in the country. And if he was asked whether or not he had any contact with uh, the Russian government, he said no. And let me just say this with the Russian ambassador. He is well known to American security as a spy recruiter. And, and I think in that instance there that uh, uh, the Attorney General, who, by the way, found plenty of room in the Clinton impeachment, which was about a lie in a civil deposition, to seek more information. So I, it was noteworthy to me that he moved quickly yesterday on him getting away from any investigation. But now I think that uh, the committees in Congress need to do their work. I mean, this is inimical to democracy. This is, the, for me, it's, this is not about the result of who won and who just lost. This is about the idea that uh, an effort by our, as John McCain says, uh, our number one foe in the world, Russia. You know, you can see even this morning uh, that NATO and European Union, they're trying to figure out what to do with Russia. They're an aggressor, Crimea, Ukraine. They're fomenting uh, this sort of... Uh, disharmony in the world, and, and I think that we need to get to the bottom of what was done here. Aside from uh, oh, this providing political pressure, is there anything Congress can officially do to hasten a resignation or force a resignation? Well, I mean, based on the numbers, that's not likely to happen unless the president changes his mind, which he has not at the moment indicated he would. But he also said that he was fully in support of uh, the National Security Advisor, Flynn. And in the past, he has taking positions that he starts with that he changes afterwards. So we just got to wait and see. What's your reaction to some of the Trump campaign people now changing their story about contacts with Russia during the campaign? Well, I, one of the things that happens um, is that if you're preparing yourself to testify in front of Congress or perhaps down the road in front of a special prosecutor, you no longer have a plausible denial if you're under oath. And I, I think that in this instance here, we're not looking for opinion, we're looking for fact.